and welcome back to medieval dynasty today it is time to go hunting let me show you how to get your hunt on okay so first things first you're going to need a wooden spear notice the, the little red circle by it this means that this is one you have equipped like this uh, we do have extra wooden spears we have two extra this is about what you need it's always good to carry your stone axe with you because you're going to need to chop down trees to make more so I would keep a stone axe at a minimum. Okay, so let's check the map out. Where we are is right uh, here with our house. Now I found that uh, hunting is always good to do in the denser kind of forest. This game's pretty smart. Like they don't have animals just wandering down the road for you to slay. So you don't have to um, you don't have to be looking there. You can go up a hill back here, or you can go across over there and I find the forested areas are best to hunt and so we're gonna go across the river and we're gonna hunt oh how I wish they had auto run on this okay so the mechanics with the spear are if you press the left button it does that if you hold the right mouse button it gets in this power move and to release it you click the left button but we're not going to do that yet. Okay, so let's go and make our way up this hill. While you're going along this way, you may find things like berries and all that that you can collect. And I recommend doing that. Like example, shrooms over here. These you can eat at a certain time of year. They're okay to eat. And uh, of course, pick up a stick because you never know when you're going to need a stick. And if you do see individual rocks along the way, um, those are good. Like here, here's a rock. You're going to need that later if you if your um, stone axe wears out. So just keep heading up. You can look back here. There's our nice little house. Isn't that cool? And all the trees chopped down around it. Way cool, huh? Wow. Definitely good cardio, man. Good cardio. So you got this fence up here. You're going to have to go a little bit past that. I forgot to mention it's a good idea to get some water before you go. Because you're probably going to need it. Now as you get up here, get a little closer. If you look around, you'll see. Okay, we're gonna move a little bit north of this road here. There should be some stuff up there. Okay, so before we get up there, it's time to get something to eat here. And uh, we have unripe berries here. Uh oh, we messed up. This is a little bit poisonous. That's not good. Okay, <laughs> so that was bad. And uh, yeah, and that didn't help. Unripe berries, should not have picked those up. 20% chance of poison. We just pretty much poisoned ourselves. That was really, really bad. So, um, yeah. Okay, and we need some St. John's warts. And this is going to be a problem. St. John's wart, sometimes it's around here, and that will cure the poison. So, our hunting trip kind of started off kind of bad. And, um,. Where is this stuff here? It's usually around here. But anyway, uh, running out of water. We just came up here to hunt. So anyway, my overzealous finger just started clicking away at that. And where's the St. John's wart? Usually some of it right around here. You gotta really look for this stuff. Yeah, where are you? Well, guys, those you have to go quite a ways away before you can get one of these guys. Huh. Tough hunting, and the poison is, I guess, it's wearing off. Yep, and we're running out of water too, but. 
You know what? There's a lot of little streams around here somewhere. Should be something or another up here. A little bit far away from everything else. But we want to get our kill in. You want to look around. Nope, that doesn't do anything. Where are you? There's got to be some wildlife out here and it, hunting can be tough you can be going a long time but once you find a spot there we go there's our victim okay so look at these two now there are two these are does so these are females but you know when you're hungry you'll hunt anything another <laughs> no more berries for me not gonna do it now what i recommend is be careful with hunting the ones near the tree and the reason for that is if they're near a tree there's a chance that they can um the the tree will will intercept the spear instead so we can move up a little we want to get a little closer actually i want to get this guy there but too close to the tree oh you gotta be kidding me okay hold down the right button aim a little higher and oh, there you go whoa one shot one kill right through the neck and not it's not usual I get such good kills like that what a kill oh and a rock rocks are precious out here so hold down E and you can go ahead and skin this look at the blood wow and you should get some I'll show you what you get after this okay so let's go ahead and get in here we need to eat something Let's go with our last flatbread because we're not feeling very well. Okay, that was good right there. And let's see what we got here. So from this, we got leather, three leathers, which is really nice. And we got a bunch of meat. So if we can find some carrots and things like that, we can go ahead and cook stuff. Uh, this is the problem with our hit points are kind of down right here. Okay, so uh, we recovered our spear. And let's check how much weight we have. Good, we can go on a killing spree out here. So take a look around and don't move. And then when you see one, there's one up there. Oh, he scared me. This one over here. Oh. This guy's a buck. Okay. I want to get this guy. I really, really want to get him. You really got to score a good kill. Let's be quiet. Okay. Number two. Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Number three. How many spears did it take to take this guy down? That's why I said make three spears. It's amazing how he can keep going. Sneak up on him. A little closer. Come on, get within range. Let's nail this. Oh, he's got. Look at this. Three spears. And we got ourselves a buck. Nice kill. Very nice kill. We got to get back to land before we dehydrate. Let's check what we have here. So we got the buck here and uh, got a lot more meat and a lot more leather. What a nice kill right here. You can also look at your skills here or technology and technology will show you, for example, as you hunt right here, killing an animal will level up hunting lodge and then you can get to do these things here. 
trapping, hunting, fishing with a net and spear. So we're already hunting it, uh, leveling up by hunting. And hunting's pretty good way to go. See workshop here, crafting, sewing, or cooking. And the building, see, notice how it's getting green here and it's filling up. That's because we're doing cutting down trees and rocks. But now it's time to hightail back. We need to take a left turn and head right back to the water ASAP. We need to head south. When you're in that top, just uh, rest a little while and uh, get your breath back. This looks like a rock down here. I don't think you can pick it up. We're going to go sprint now to the south. Yep, we're getting winded. We're almost there. This is the other village on the other side right here. So we're near the other village. This one is actually a bath right here. So let's see if we can get out here. Oh yeah, we made it, but our health is down as you can see, which is not good. So now we're out of here. Whew, that happened good. Okay, we got out of that. Just pick up some sticks as you go back. And let's see, use some branches here. So this is the town on the other side. You want to check these things. Maybe you can find some, uh, some St. John's wart or something. It won't really tell you. Sometimes it's here, sometimes it's not. But don't get too dizzy doing it. Anyway, so we have done a couple kills right here. There's our beautiful little house. Our health is down here. We can either go and explore this place or you can go back across over there. So we need to survive for one season. And um, that should come pretty quick. All right, guys. So there it is. That's how you hunt and enjoy this beautiful view. Wow, this just looks incredible. And it plays so smooth. As long as you don't run it on Ultra, you're going to be okay. So, um, hope you guys like this and uh, let me know what you think. And thanks for watching.